After we've moved the excess water from the bottom of the tank, we want to check the fill tube from the fill valve and make sure there's not water coming out. That indicates that the water should be off to the fill valve. Next, we'll take a bucket and put it underneath the supply line riser tube and shutoff valve and we'll disconnect the supply line. You want to stabilize the valve below with one wrench and use another wrench to unscrew the nut to make sure you don't damage the shutoff valve. Next, you'll grab your locking pliers and loosen the nut attached to the, top, to the bottom of the fill valve. Now there will be a little bit of water, residual water, inside the fill valve and that's why we have the bucket here. Next, we'll disconnect the flush valve or the fill valve from the underside of the toilet tank. There'll be a nut underneath. You'll stabilize the fill valve with your hand and turn the nut counterclockwise with your locking pliers.